me and Nick. This is basically a video about me and my buddy Nick. I've known him years. Me and Nick go back years. And we have always had very interesting time together, interesting stories. Nick is my astro, one of my many astro twins. Okay. Wonder Twin Buddies Unite, man. And one day, I was just sitting here thinking about this one time where this guy left him in the middle of the Bronx in order to go smoke crack. It was fucking hilarious. This guy who lives in Bayonne, because Nick lives in Bayonne, he, like, doesn't have any teeth. I just remember when Nick first met him, like, he was describing him, and I just said to myself, this guy seems fucking crazy and kind of a druggie because anybody that's, like, 30 years old and doesn't have any teeth and, like, wasn't in some kind of fucked up accident or crazy fight has been on drugs. And even if he was in some kind of fucked up accident or crazy fight, do you really want to deal with a nigga that has lost all his teeth because he's been fighting? I don't know. But Nick's like, oh no, we're gonna hang. We're gonna do some shit. It's gonna be alright. And I'm like, yeah, this motherfucker is crazy. So he calls me and he's like, oh my god, I'm at this fucking bar and this guy's like losing his mind. And I'm on the phone with Tammy, another person that I've known for years and has a bunch of crazy shit to say. And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, Nick's on the other line. Let me fucking click over. So we're talking to Nick, and then this guy gets on the phone, and he's like trying to lure us there and trying to get us to convince Nick's mother to let him, like, stay or some shit. It was just really fucking bizarre. He goes, in the gayest voice, might I add, this man sounded like a fucking flamer ass queen ass homo fag. Just gay. And he picks up the phone, sounding like fucking Harvey Firestein. It's like, hello, help, this is Kai. Oh, I've heard about you. I, you just seemed like a guy. Um, who's this other person? Oh, hello, yeah, I don't know you. Yeah, you need to tell Nick's mother to let him stay here. No, you know what? You need to tell Nick to let me call his mother because I sound just like my father and I'm going to convince, you know, her, her to let him go because trust me this works all the time she'll believe me just listen meanwhile in my mind I'm thinking if you sound just like your father your father's a great big fag too and I'm secondly I'm thinking Nick's mother's a Capricorn and she's not gonna believe you because she don't know you and I don't want to be involved in any of this shit because you know what I'm apparently one of the only trustworthy people she fucking deals with <laughs> Nick deals with some odd ass strange ass people I'm the favorite I'm gonna stay that way. I'm not fucking calling anybody for you. Tammy is sitting there dying, like trying to fucking hold in the laughter. And she's just having this conversation with this man like, really? You sound like your father? Wow. I don't think Nick's mother's gonna answer the phone. It's getting late and he needs to like bring the car back. And she's just coming through this whole thing and Nick is like somewhere in this bar bugging out. And he fucking picks up the phone and he's like, I'm gonna leave. Kai, Kai, if I don't call you in a, in a couple minutes, just call me back and say that, you know, and pretend to be my mom so I can just fucking leave. And I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever. I take care of it. Then he ends up with this man again. They're gonna, like, fucking go to New York or whatever because the guy, like, paid his way or something. And he's like, oh, you know, I don't like to leave the house if I don't have enough money, something crazy could happen. I'm like, dude, something crazy is gonna happen. That nigga's nuts. Don't go anywhere with him. He's fucking crazy. Nick goes any old way. And then the guy fucking disappears into this building and, like, doesn't come out for hours. Nick ends up, like, calling somebody else and, like, doing some other shit and roaming around the fucking Bronx or wherever. He was one of them bees. The Bronx, Brooklyn, bed I don't fucking know. He's roaming around for hours and then the guy comes back out all woo he been in this fucking building smoking crack and I'm sitting there dead ass I'm like oh, I told you that was a motherfucking cracky I've been dealing with crackies my whole life you think I can't spot a fucking cracky I ain't even have to see the motherfucker I know a fucking cracky when I hear cracky anybody that's fucking 30 years old ain't got no fucking teeth they all crack and he fucking was like oh I never want to deal with him again I fucking dropped him off and then he started sucking some man's dick and I'm like oh my god and I'm like see 
Niggas with no teeth always want to be sucking dick. They just think that shit's funny. And he's like, I don't even fucking care. That's, I'm never leaving the house with no money. I'm never do, doing anything like that. I'm never dealing with him again. I'm like, yep. Now you learn to stay your ass home. Because when Kai warns someone about something, damn it, you better listen. I know a, drunk, a, a druggie, a junkie, a fucking wino. I can spot the derelicts of the world. So take heed. Anytime I give somebody the look of, 